All right, so we're going to start getting into the fun stuff. Next, we're going to unbox the um, the table and the stand for the embroidery machine, which I'm so excited to do. Hi, guys. Welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author, and today I have something really, really exciting to tell you. So... Um, as you saw the footage before I started this video, you can probably kind of guess what's going on. But anyway, um, Rakoma has reached out to me and has been generous enough to send their EM 1010 10 needle embroidery machine. So I'm going to be doing a really cool unboxing and showing you what that looks like. And I just want to show you what you get with this. So they send you this really cool welcome letter. And you get um, a list of blanks of digitizers and people who can digitize your artwork. Also, where you can order supplies, blanks, and all that kind of good stuff. So there's a lot of good information in this folder that gets sent with that. So like that. And then Madeira was also um, kind enough to send a welcome box with the Rakoma um, embroidery machine as well. And so in this box, we get the catalog of embroidery supplies, which is really cool. And I do have to say that I do love Madeira threads. I own several of them. <laughs> and you have seen me use them on numerous occasions I use them for embroidery, and I also use them in um, quilting projects as well. So in this box, you're going to get a really cool checklist telling you what's in here. Um, and then we're just going to jump in here. I'm going to show you what's in here. It's really cool. So this is a really neat um, thread chart. So it tells you all the colors, the numbers that coordinate with those colors. And I really love this because I need to order some new threads anyway. Also, they send you this really cool cone of thread. And so far, I'm loving this because it is the fluorescent green, but it reminds me a little bit of Halloween. And I have some Halloween projects that are coming up that we're going to do. So that'll come in really handy. Also, some of these snips and needles for the machine. Let me see if I can get those up close. Some needles. There's two packs of those and a pair of a tweezers or twizzars as I like to call them. Anyway, so that is what comes in this little bag. So it's a really, really good little goodie bag to start you off to make sure that you have everything that you need. Also, we have some pre-wound bobbins. And this is what they look like in the pack. We have some cap stabilizer for baseball caps. Tearaway stabilizer water soluble stabilizer and cutaway stabilizer. The ones that we usually work with um, and that are the most common are tearaway, cutaway, and water soluble. Um, I have used all of those, so I am no stranger to the stabilizers. We've even used some tearaway stabilizer when we did a little bit of applique. So you can use stabilizer for a lot of things. Then, they sent these really cool little boxes here. And this one has some beautiful thread colors in it. And then there's another one that they sent along with mostly primary colors. So I'm super excited. So they send this to you so you have pretty much everything that you need to get started. So I want to thank Madeira for doing that. It's very, very generous. And then there's also a card in here if you have questions that you can contact them and um, if you have any questions. So 
we are going to put this back and we are going to start putting the stand together for our embroidery machine. Okay, we're gonna open up the stand. All right, so this stand comes with instructions. And also, Racoma makes you go through some pre-training before you even get your machine. And it is very, very helpful so that you understand and know what you're getting before it even arrives. And then afterwards, they go through full-on training to show you how to work the machine because they want you to understand and know how to run it. Okay, so this box has the all of the wheels in it. I know I'm a little bit far away here, but trust me, we will see everything up close. So these are all the tools that we're going to need. And I'm just going to set those over here because we're going to need some room to move this stuff around. This here is the table. These are what are heavy. These are the stands. So this is what the machine will actually go on to once we have it all put together. So I am just going to lift these out of the box, set them over here. Another stand, another side. Racoma signs on the side here. And that is what we have in this box. Here's another one. Everything that you need to assemble this comes, comes with it. So we have the wrenches and we have the Allen wrenches and then the screws, the wheels, and the stoppers. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how we put this together. All right, so we have already put the stand together and now is the moment of truth. We are going to open this up and I'm gonna reveal the machine in here. And... Okay, so we're gonna open it this way. <laughs> we're gonna start unpacking some of this stuff First thing that we're gonna do okay. so of course we're gonna take a look in here. So 
those taped on there really well. This is the embroidery hoops that it comes with. Let's open those up. Let's take a look here. This one is a small, cute little one. All right, so this little one is 2.7 by 1.9. Really tiny. <laughs> And then this one here is 4.3 by 4.3 inches. That's the next size. And we have this one, which looks pretty much like a standard sized um, hoop. I'm not sure. Even, it's probably on here. I'm just blind. Yes, 7.4 by 5 and a, five and a half inches. And this one is pretty large. It's 12.2 inches by 8.2 inches. So these are our hoops. This is the thread stand. And the bar that we need when we switch over to using hoops as opposed to um, doing caps. Okay, gonna move around you here. You wanna? All right. So we have more stuff on the back side here. So we have this is for hats. So this actually attaches onto the machine. And again, like I said, in the pre-training, all of this is explained. I'm just going to set that right there. This connects into that piece, and this is what you set your um, hats on to embroider. So all of that there for now. We have our power cord. Ethernet cord. Oh, <laughs> almost didn't remember this. Um, this is for the thread stand. This is the thread, uh, the thread spools. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go straight down now. I'm gonna cut the last piece of tape, and we're gonna reveal what is in here. Make sure I didn't miss any miss anything. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, you guys. Yay. Look at that beauty. All right, we're going to take the paper off first, or plastic. I guess it's not really paper, is it? So we're going to take this off. Now, yes, I guess I should tell you this. To sit these, um, the machine already comes pre-threaded. So, in the pre-training, they actually show you how to thread this machine. 
We got some more stuff in here too. But I wanted to tell you about this and then I also wanted to show you this piece here. So this is the monitor, um, this digital screen that you use to run the machine. With the Recoma's machines, you don't need a separate, um, you don't need a separate computer. It's already stored in here. So that's another major plus. All right, now we're gonna move the machine. Okay, we're just gonna put the thread spools on here. This is what they look like. They go in really, really easily. Just like that. And they do send you some extras too. So, you know, if you break one or whatever, you have extras. So there's 10, so perfect. Then you're gonna take this, your little sponge. You're gonna put that on each one here. This is what your thread will sit on top of. And this is your thread knot. So I told you that the machine comes threaded and it does. I'm not gonna do the threading. So we've got the machine put up, we've got the thread stand on, and I got this cool Rakoma hat, which is awesome. And with my machine came this really cool toolbox. And it has lots of goodies in there to help you put the machine, um, stand together and to put the thread stand together so you will definitely know how to use these things there's some bobbins um, a USB um, you can't use anything higher than a 16 gigabyte USB so that is going to come in really handy so I got that keep that there and then I also have one more thing to open this is a table that makes it easier to embroider um, blankets and items that are flat. So like when we're working with quilts and stuff, it'll make it easier for us to embroider that. So here come, these are the attachments for the table. And that is what the table looks like. So I am really, really super excited to use the table and to use the embroidery machine and everything. All right, so this is the Rakoma EM1010. If you are interested in this machine, I have links down below in the description box. Um, you can contact them directly and they will give you information on pricing and how to own this wonderfully awesome machine. Also, there's another link down there right below it. It's a shopping link if you need to buy stabilizer or Mighty Hoops or any kind of um, embroidery supplies, you can go ahead and check that out. Um, I am an affiliate with them, so anything that you purchase through those links, I do make a small commission. I want to thank Rakoma amazing machine. I am so super excited to start using it and to start showing you how to make some awesome, cool, and great gifts for your family and your friends. And so it's here just in time for the holidays. And so thank you so much for joining me and keep on crafting. I'll see you guys soon. All right, everyone. So I have the Rakoma up and ready to go. It's all threaded. We're all good. I've got some stabilizer here. I have some fabric and we are going to do our first project and I am so excited. So I'm going to turn the camera and we're going to get started. Okay, this fabric may look a little familiar. This is the fabric that I was going to use for the gnome, and I am going to use this for a gnome, but we are going to use this as a mug rug, so I will be doing a tutorial on this later on. So we're gonna go ahead and put our little gnome with our sewing machine 
onto this fabric. I'm just floating the fabric. I have some stabilizer underneath here, as you can see. And then I have some painter's tape holding that fabric down and also some 505 spray. We're gonna move over to the embroidery machine now and get started. This is what our completed design looks like. It took four minutes to stitch this out. It is so cute. I will be cutting this, like I said, and I will be making a mug rug out of it. So that will be a tutorial that you won't wanna miss. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.